Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to root your Motorola Droid running Android 2.2.2 the latest update from Verizon which is build FRG83G a lot of people have been complaining about this not being able to root and this is just to show that it can um, first things first, if you don't already have RSD Lite 4.9 installed in the Motorola drivers, I recommend you bookmark this page because you will need to be rebooting your computer at least once to install these and I would like you to find this video easily again as proof that this isn't rooted already you'll notice there is no super user app which comes with all rooted phones and set CPU is unable to obtain root access alright you are going to need to download RSD Lite 4.9 which you can find both in the comments section or the description of this video and in the text file it's attached then depending on whether you're running a 32 or 64 bit windows you are going to need to download the proper Motorola drivers for your phone once you have both of those downloaded the installer file is extracted and they are installed and you have rebooted please download Motocache 1's recovery only SPF file and his complete root update file and thanks to him for getting those for us. Now you are going to want to extract the recovery only SBF file and launch RSD Lite on your computer. Make sure USB debugging is on on your phone which is found under settings, applications, development, USB debugging. Once we're here we are going to reboot our phone into bootloader mode. First power off the device completely and go ahead and pull out the keyboard. We're going to push the up button on the D-pad which is facing the way my finger is facing not literally up because the phone is on its side. Hold up while pressing power. You will see the phone is now in bootloader mode and it has appeared in our RSD light screen we're going to go find the SPF file we just extracted open it and now before we push start when the screen says waiting for the phone to reboot you're going to need to press the up button on the d-pad once again to make sure you go back into recovery mode and not boot into Android so start there it's going verifying checksums and phone is being rebooted now you push up keep holding it we are back in bootloader mode and it says we have passed good to know close out of RSD light we are done with that now all we need is to extract didn't actually want to extract that never mind we have this update.zip let's turn our phone off now hold X when powering up to go into the new custom recovery mode that we just installed through RSD Lite you're going to need, you need to do this to rename that complete update root file to update.zip there we go update.zip now on the phone we need to go to mount options enable USB mass storage you could have put this file on the SD card beforehand but I'm just showing you how to do it now there's our droid put it in the main the root folder of the droid you need to put it in the most back folder where you see everything else on your SD card now unmount the SD card there we go push the power button to go back install and select install actually first allow update.zip installation because we have an unsigned update.zip now select install update.zip complete root installing super user for Eclair or Froyo and all was good push the power button twice and then the camera button to reboot into Android alright
and you see we now have the super user app which allows us to give certain programs root permissions we'll run set CPU again, now at first it's going to say we still don't have root permission, oh nope it asks allow there we go and we can go ahead and set custom frequencies change the governor we have full root permission and this once again was on the stock Android 2.2.2 FRG 83G Froyo build released by Verizon just a few days ago if you're wondering what to do now that you have root I recommend going to the market downloading a program called ROM Manager there are a ton of ROMs in there for you to download if you can't decide on which one you want to download please check out some of my other videos I review quite a few of the ROMs thanks for watching goodbye